All right, everybody, welcome back to some more Corpse Party. Now we are on the last chapter, Chapter Five. It looks like it's a long chapter and plenty of ways to die. Um, once I finish this game, there's a couple games I have in mind. Um, <laughs> but uh, let me tell you, I have a couple. I have lists written down of games I need to play. So. There's plenty of content. I'm never gonna run out. So let's get it started. New game, so we're gonna see the intro cutscene. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. Fucking crazy dude. My, you're really jigging. What's the matter? You know, fucking. Oh, should I say something? Let's say something. I'm gonna. Um. That scream just now was. Well, uh. Did something happen? Mm. Boku. Uh, Boku. Uh, me? I don't recall making any sound at all. Of course you don't, you crazy batshit motherfucker. Come now, stand up. If you just sit here cowering, you'll never find my little sister. Nor your big brother. Oh, look at him. Not now when he's in his, not in his animation. Look what he looks like in his little box. He looks ugly as shit. Um, my, my stomach. Uh. Mm. Is it really that bad, Yuka? Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. So this is what it's like when someone holds in it to the point of bursting. How pitiful! I wonder what's what sort of face she'd make if I forced her to s to go right here. You sick! Wait, pitiful? Did I say pitiful? Oh boy. So Sirka Ore to Kuraska. What? He says, so how about it? Will you live with me? What the fuck? Huh? What? I knew my ass should have just stayed silent. Dude, this guy is crazy. Um, I, I, I think I'll be okay on my own. I'll look for my big brother by myself. Oh boy. What are you saying, Yuka? I am your big brother. You're my little sister. And there's simply no way out of here. Everyone is going to die. So let's continue to be brother and sister. So our dying breaths for however long we may have. Um, goodbye. Yuka-chan. I wouldn't recommend going that way. Something dreadful happened downstairs just a moment ago. Huh?
Fuck it, Yuka. We're going downstairs. Ooh, safe point. We're going downstairs. Did I grab that body right there? I'm gonna make sure. Nope, I didn't. Okay, let's see how she died. I think it was a she. Fell downstairs, died from spinal injuries at age 17. This is the room right here where he died, I think. Oh shit, he's still fucking alive. Um, are you alright? Does he look alright, Yuka? He got stabbed in the stomach and then pushed out a, uh, a hole. He got pushed down a one story <laughs> building. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Mochita. Um, y y your stomach is bleeding really bad. I'll try to find something to stop it. There ain't no stopping that, bro. <laughs> My handkerchief won't help for a room this big. Come on, Yuka, think. Think! Uh, you, you need to get away from here uh, right now. Hurry! What? what? It's crazy, bitch! But if I don't do something about your injuries, you're going to die. He's going to die anyway. Crazy motherfuckers right behind you. I'll just apply pressure, okay? Stay with me. Uh. No, please. <laughs> Just <laughs> no. You're a Zaki. How on earth is this done to you? Damn. That's for not listening to you, big brother, bitch. <laughs> she's going into convulsions. How uns- Oh, she shat herself. How unsightly. Kizami, stop this! Kizami! Wait, why is he sorry? Borden? I should have done more to stop you when we were kids. I'm your best friend after all. Damn, he did that to his best friend? Man, I hate to see what he do to a fucking stranger. But I never filled that role very well. <laughs> I never did the things I should have. What are you going on about? I really deluded yourself into thinking you're my best friend. I don't recall you ever standing up for me. Not even one time. <laughs> yeah, I... <coughs> I guess I... really haven't... been a very good friend. <laughs> well, you won't be regretting that for long. But I must say, I always am rather curious about these things you should have done as my so-called best friend. Please, do enlightenly. Oh, I don't know, something like this? Ah! That really hurt, you know. Stop blaming other people for everything, you fucking coward! <laughs> you son of a bitch. Take a good look around you, Kazami.
take a good look at who you're up against. No one is conspiring against you. We're no threat. We're your friends. That's bullshit, and you know it. You're the fucking cow, Kurosaki. Well, at least you got to use the bathroom. She shat herself. My stomach. It really hurts. What? It still hurts? Big brother. Oh no. Back to your senses, are you, Yuka? God damn! He slaughtered the shit? Everything is just fine now. Your big brother will protect you. Your big, strong brother will make sure to keep you safe. Damn, this is kind of fire, I ain't gonna lie. Aaron? Was this a key? Science lab? Huh. Guess you won't be needing this anymore, Kurosaki. Isn't it just horrible? The way these spirits kill people? You wouldn't want that to happen to you, right? Well, don't worry. I won't let them. No, I'll protect you from that horrible fate. For you see, I'll put an end to it myself. I'll snap up that tiny, tiny. I for yours. Come on, fair wedding, wait for me. David. Oh shit, there's a- is that- oh shit, is that fucking Sakio over there? Oh shit, that is Sakio. it is- Oh, you bitch! It's- oh shit. The live rabbits are so very noisy. I meant to juke the shit out of him. Fuck you, one more, Shigi. The fuck are you doing? Jacking off? What are you doing? Maya! Maya! Where Maya! Maya! Where are you? Shut your dumb ass up. How long have you been here? Must be the middle of the night by now. Shut your dumb ass up. We all know you a villain too. My, am I ever thirsty? Oh, Mayu, do you realize how very worried I am about you? You ain't worried about her, right? You fuck her dead corpse the first chance you got, you creepy mother... How are you holding up right now, I wonder? What sorts of thoughts are swimming? See, look at this guy, bruh. He is grade A. Peeping Tom, bruh. You scare so easily, and you're such a fragile soul. You really do need me by your side. No, the hell she does not. Am I dead? Bro, wait up. Wait, Mayu's her brother? Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, that makes it even creepier. Not going to the club today. Hmm. That's a good question. What is wrong? Wait, was I supposed to get caught? 
Now I have to be more shiggy. They're holding auditions for the lead, you know. Oh, I know. But there's no way they'll pick me. How come? I mean, I've seen how much you want it. You've been pouring over that script for the last month. Not to mention practicing lines in the gym every in the gym equipment room. You, you saw that? How embarrassing. Next time you should say something. But you were so into it. I was actually kind of happy to see you in your element like that. <sighs> well, either way, I'm giving up on that particular goal. まゆ。お前はまっすぐな人間だからきっと行きたくもないコンパとか行って愛想笑いするのまあ要はみんなに好かれていない俺に原因があるわけだけれど私好きだよシゲニーの演技You're good actor, Shig. I don't. Anyway. You shine in the spotlight. Really shine. And you look like you're enjoying it too. But. If you hate it that much. Then yeah. It's really not worth it. I mean. You have to force yourself. Then you're not having fun at all right? And what's the point in that? Besides, at least I got to see it. Shig's secret. Rascal... N n Shig's secret. Rascal Ninikov. I probably butchered the fuck out of that. Oh. Come on, we'll head out together. Oh, but how about we stop at the crepes? Crepe? Stand on our way home. Doesn't that sound yummy? Chocolate bananas, man. They apparently have a new one on the menu. And I'm just itching to try it out. Mayu. I'm well aware. I'm not there for you, Mayu. It's plain to see how much danger you'll be in. That's what I've been telling myself all this time, anyway. <laughs> That's not the real reason I'm trying so hard to find you. No, nothing so... Oh, no. Oh, no! Don't say it out loud, please. Every time I saw your face... I heard you greet me with that shig, bro. You'd always say, You were saving my life. He's depressed? So he wants to find her for himself? Like to help him? Please, Mayu, I need you. 
please. So he's just depressed. He's suicidal. And Mayu being his only, basically what looks like to be his only friend. Save his life, maybe? Is that what I'm getting at? Don't. Leave me all alone. Damn. Just once more. I have to see the suffering of others. It's the only thing keeping me sane. That's why he's taking pictures. I don't know how that keeps you sane, but... Oh, probably because in his little screwed up head, he's like, oh, well, if others are suffering too, then, you know, it's fair. That doesn't make sense to me, but... I thought he was... You are not, but... I always thought he was getting some sexual kick out of it. And I am still sane. I am. God, I've taken so many of them. So many pictures of the dead. Yeah, they probably don't appreciate it much. It's so weird. They're all real. Honest to goodness corpses. But to me, they just look like fakes. Nothing but props. Realistic ones, granted. Much more detailed and less like than the cheap fake bodies you see on the television and in movies. <laughs> hmm. Mayu's dead, ain't she? Yeah, she died. She's the one against the wall, and that's the one he gets the kick out of the most. Damn, that's fucked up. Mm -hmm. This one is fascist by far, utterly pulverized against the wall near the infirmary. Oh, absolutely breathtaking. She's been nothing. Then why was. I guess we're going to find out why he dug into the remains then. She's been reduced to nothing more than a chaotic jumble of flesh not long ago oh but it was connected this is a human being once walking and talking with a mind of her own could there truly be an afterlife she must be embarrassed to show her face there with such a hideous disfigured appearance I'd probably feel bad for her if she weren't a complete stranger. <laughs> What's going on? I'm receiving the call. Why is the blasted thing still in photo view mode? There's no message telling me who's calling. Just a ringtone. Maybe the OS is shot. Don't look. Don't look. Huh? Please. Don't look at me. What? Please. Don't look at me. Stop staring at me. My insides. Please. Uh -oh. The girl in the red dress, huh? I think I may have seen her. Her ghost, anyway. 
when I was with Psycho in one of the dark classrooms. She was crouched down on the ground and staring right at us. I saw her too, in the shadows when Yuka and I were walking through the hall earlier. She's like keeping tabs on our movements. We also found an old newspaper article in the nurse's office about the Heavenly Host kidnapping a murder case. There were photos of four victims, and she was one of them. There's no doubt in my mind. That ghost girl we've been both seen is definitely Sachiko. But how is that possible? According to what we just saw, Sachiko wasn't killed, she survived. And if that's the case, shouldn't she have grown up into a proper adult by now? You'd have to look older than us, at the very least. She's a demon! Staying behind in a place like this in child form with other victims just doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? Yeah, that part bothers me too. I'm guessing shortly after the incident, though, some unrelated accident happened or something. Sachiko lost her life as well. Don't trust her! She's a fucking evil bitch. If we can somehow meet up with her spirit, maybe we can learn more about what happened. Yeah, you can learn how she stabbed someone till their fucking eye became liquid. More than what was reported at the very least. If that's the key to getting everybody out of here safely, I'll take my chances with the school's curse! Or whatever the hell it is. Once we find Yuka, let's say we look for Sachiko as well. Okay. Though I am worried. I haven't heard Yuka's voice at all since before you found me. Yeah. Yeah, we need to find some means of getting back to that other building. <gasps> Is it, what the hell? This one feels completely different from any of the others. Oh shit, in my ass. Oh shit. Oh god, it's a big one! That's what she said. School can't possibly. Damn. Naomi! Are you alright? Hang on to me, bitch! Okay! Don't let go! I won't. <laughs> Damn right she won't. Damn it! It just keeps going! Oh shit. Ah! It's a ceiling beam! Oh, damn. Satoshi! He's bleeding! Satoshi! Satoshi! Speak to me! Are you okay? Damn, son! No! Satoshi! Damn! And there's some people left in my book. No! Please don't kill me! Don't kill me, please! No! So now we're back to where we ended last episode, where she was getting her fuck amps, her eye stabbed. Shinozaki, Shinozaki, snap out of it! Damn.
Uh, it's okay. Everything's okay. Okay. Come on, Shinozaki. Everything's fine. You're safe. Did she just blow her nose into my guy's shirt? What the? <laughs> Dude just blew her nose into my guy's shirt. That's what happened to me. Damn, I feel sorry for you. What? What's that like? What did you see? I saw the true identity of the, the, the murderer. Huh? That's why the damned doll wasn't enough. Repentance from the killer. We had the wrong person. <coughs> Wait. Are you telling me we're actually there? Like you saw the scene of the murders? That's exactly what I'm saying. I was seeing everything through Yuki's eyes. I was bound and then I was and then I was killed. God damn it, you little piece of It's not her fault. I'm the one who wanted to know. Yeah, fucking Shinozaki. The murderer is a little girl. You remember that newspaper article Suzumoto showed us? Her photo was in it, along with her name. It's the girl in the red dress. Shachiko Shinozaki. She was listed as one of the victims. But believe me, she's no victim. What? Yeah, yeah. No. That can't be right. That's impossible. For a little girl to do something like like that? How could she abduct other children her own age and just keep them prisoner no less? I could believe it if it were that monster with the hammer. He seems fully capable of kidnapping and tying up little kids any day of the week. He was just an accomplice. When these children were killed by Sachiko, the man with the hammer was in the corner of the room, quaking in fear. You can't be serious. I have no idea why he would have helped Sachiko in the first place, though. We have to tell the others. Mochida and Mishishido. Yeah, I guess. Even Naha wasn't able to find out the whole truth. And she's been in there longer than any of us. If we don't hurry and tell them, They'll be dead before they ever find out. If Sachiko catches them unaware, it could all be over. We have to go back. Yuki, please. Take us back into the closed spaces. We'll find a way to exercise you and all the other spirits trapped in the heavenly host. I swear. I... Wouldn't recommend that. As a result of your interference, as well as the interference of your friends, those spaces are in a state of critical flux right now. If I were to take you back, even if I kept this clarity of mind the whole time, I doubt I'd ever be able to bring you home again. But if we back, everyone's going to die. 
Kishinuma. Let's go. Please? For our friends. Come on. For Machida. Dude, she is obsessed with him. No. I'm sorry, but no. You know, I completely understand Yoshiki's answer because, you know, it is not easy. It is not easy. I completely understand, you know. It, he might never have a chance to get back out. He's only a kid. I don't want to set one foot in that hellhole ever again. You should neither. We have to be out of our fucking minds to go back there. We die for sure. Why? The fuck you mean why? Why do you always have to be like that? That's what I hate about you! Damn. Man, she's kind of tearing him a new asshole. And you don't give a shit about anyone's feelings but your own. And you're so stubborn once you've set your mind on something, you fucking little baby dick bitch. Why are you honestly saying? You're fine as long as you get through this alive. Oh, don't you dare try to psychoanalyze me, bitch. What guy? And I don't want to die. That clear enough for you, bitch? Fine! Do whatever the hell you want! It was stupid of me to even bother asking you! I'll go by myself! I can't believe you. Do you really not care about rescuing your friends? <laughs> Damn! You're a delinquent! A coward! A fucking pussy! I didn't get it. You don't care about everyone else either. The only person you care about is Satoshi. <gasps> I didn't. I really wish I would got to finish her fucking sentence, but it. For, uh, I didn't get in the. You can drop the act. It's gotten pretty fucking old. Oh, it's Mochita this, Mochita that. Well, I hope you two are happy together in eternal damnation. Damn. With a popcorn at. <laughs> but before you go, at least try to read the writing on the fucking wall. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm telling you, I love you, goddammit! Damn. You're so oblivious. You've been watching Satoshi so closely, you never even noticed how much I care about you, bruh! I mean, this has been a weird situation and all. But when we got separated from him, and you and I wound up alone together, I have to admit, it made me kind of happy. I thought, maybe, it would be a good chance to catch her eye, and draw it away from his. But the whole time, all you could think about was him. You probably kept wishing it was Satoshi by your side instead of me. Well, Satoshi's not here. I am! So look at me, damn it! From the bottom of my heart, I... <laughs> Huh? Stop it! Just stop it, please. How could you think any of that is true? Because it is. <laughs> you are obsessed with Mochita. Mochita's not the only one I'm worried about. Remember just a few short hours ago when everyone was cleaning up after the culture festival and complaining about it the whole time? Precious memory to you? 
I want to see the big like that. So, so much I want to share with all of you. That why I'm going to do. If I don't, we will never be together again. The thought of that absolutely mortifies me. So please, Yuki, take me back. I don't care if I have to go it alone. Just please, hurry before it's too late. You're certain? Please. Meanwhile, Wani over there is just sitting in shock. Just for the record, Kishinuma. I'm absolutely terrified of it. But I'm still doing it. The only issue I'd see with Yoshiki's plan is how the fuck he's going to explain the miss his missing friends. Do whatever the hell you want. I'm going home. <laughs> Definitely host. I really did go back. Alright. Well, that's going to end today's episode because I'm just going to go right here and save. And she is now all alone, Yumi. So I will catch you all in the next one.